when you go online and look up the suicide rates you know you look up the current information of increases in suicides here in the United States it's some pretty shocking information to see that suicide rates are high with men upon discovering this information I was baffled by this because I began to ask myself the question why are men hating themselves that much what is it what is it that makes a man hate himself to the point to where he would want to take his own life who are the people raising these men who are they I was raised by three women my mother my aunt and my grandmother and I have to say thank goodness they did not raise me to hate myself no matter how much heartbreak men have caused them they never shed or dumped any of that negative energy or heartbreak onto me as a kid they made sure that I loved myself they made sure of this throughout my entire journey as a kid and even at one point I heard my grandmother say I can never hate a man because it's pretty profound to hear that from the people that raise you and then when you go out into the world you see the hate right you hear the stories now of course you have men who are making bad decisions doing the wrong things abuse of power and that sort of thing but not every man is that the energy that you give to your children is the energy that they carry for the rest of their lives now of course this energy can be rerouted sure at some point someone can step in and sort of pick up the broken pieces and reassemble them right but starting off with that loving energy is so important because it creates a good foundation for that kid and then as that kid grows he reflects that energy so right now we're having a lot of challenges out there a lot of men who are losing themselves they're losing the strength within themselves pieces are broken and as frustrating as that can be I say yeah you know what that is frustrating to see that but I always think about who is raising these men and what kind of energy is being given to these men who are killing themselves the women who raised me made sure that I did not have any hateful energy in my bones not at all I never felt hateful energy I felt nothing but loving energy from all three of them loving energy all the way through my life I speak on energy because energy is everything you know you can walk into a room and all of a sudden the energy in that room doesn't feel very pleasant or you can walk into a room and the energy in that room feels really good and you can't really put your finger on it you know in most cases some people you know they don't tap in as often they don't meditate or connect or stay in spiritual alignment often so they can't describe what's happening to them when this happens but that is it you are picking up on the energy in that space 
It could be your home, wherever, you know, you feel the vibrations in that space. You have very extraordinary gifts. So when someone like your parent is giving you negative energy all the time because they have a very strong dislike for the person that helped to create you, it leaves sort of this scab and that scab takes a while to heal sometimes it doesn't heal at all you know it just it's a wound that just continues to bleed and so that's why it's very important to give your child loving energy regardless of whatever the relationship struggles are okay now, of course, in this case, I'm only speaking of woman to man. And then there's the other side, man to woman. And they're so open and they feel, they can feel every vibration in the space, in the room. They hear and see things that parents cannot because parents have become what? Out of alignment. So that loving energy that comes from a woman is so nurturing so elevating feels so good ah yeah but when it's ill that's when it becomes deadly when the woman has hate for the father or hate for anything her life her position that sun is going to take those vibrations, harness it, and then emit it into the world by the time they're 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, all the way up. So the next time you are looking into your child's eyes, remember what you feel transmits to them. <laughs>